Hey guys and welcome back to the TC Games Daily Origami Series. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this butterfly. And it's made using a square sheet of paper. I've used a 6 inch by 6 inch sheet of origami paper. And you can basically use different sizes but this should be ideal for uh, putting it on a card for example or just for putting it on display or as a decoration. And you can decide what you like to do with it. So let's get started and I'll show you how to make this. And for this model we're going to need a square sheet of paper. The size of the square doesn't matter but it has to be a square sheet. And we're going to start with the color side facing down. And we want to get this to the water bomb base. So if you don't know how to get it to that I'll show you in the next few steps. So we're going to start by putting in our diagonal creases. So fold it so that this top edge aligns with the side edge. And you just want to crease it in all the way through like that. Unfold it. And we want to fold it so that this top edge aligns with the side edge. Like that. And again you just want to crease that in. Now we're going to unfold this. Now you'll want to fold it so that this top edge aligns with this bottom edge down here. Crease it in. Unfold it. And now we're going to fold it so that this side edge aligns with this side edge. So that we've got our vertical and horizontal creases in there. And again, once you've got it properly aligned, crease it in. But this time we're not going to unfold it. So now we're going to lay it flat like this. And basically what we're going to do is we're going to place our left hand on this side. Grab it by this tip here, this corner. And you want to pull this all the way to the center. And you'll basically end up with this top flap here and the bottom flap. Just collapse the top one onto the bottom one and crease it in. Crease the center as well. Do the same thing on the sides, so hold the right side, grab this tip, bring it to the center, collapse the top onto the bottom, crease the side, crease the center, and you should now have your water bomb base. Now we're going to go and look at these two corners here, and we're going to need to unfold the entire model. So we're looking at the top tip on the right and left, and we just want to fold this in just a little bit and you can basically decide how much you want to fold it in. I'm going to fold it to about this length and at the same time you want to make sure this tip aligns with this crease so that you know it's centered. Crease it in. And now we're going to fold this back out but we're going to leave a bit of space from the edge here so we're going to create an accordion fold and crease it in. So that you get a shape like this and like this on the reverse. Now you'll want to do the same thing on this side but to make sure everything's symmetrical we're actually going to fold it in half and we're going to measure out about the same length that we folded it down so let's see here we folded it to about that length there. So let's crease that in and we folded it out to about this length here. And it doesn't have to exactly match the other side but it should be fairly close like that. And once you've got that unfold it back, crease it in. So now we need to go back and get it back to the water bomb base and this time since all the creases are properly aligned all we have to do is grab these two corners and just pull them to the center and then flatten the top layer. So once again it was like this. Pull it to the center, flatten the top part down. Oops. Like that. And you should basically be back at your Watt Bomb base, but this time you're going to have a bit of a variation here and here. Now we're going to take this corner here 
and we're going to fold it down so that this edge aligns with that center crease like that crease it in so now you can see this corner a bit better how it's a little different than this one do the same thing on this side pull this edge to that center crease crease it in and you should now get a shape like this now we're going to fold it right along that crease right in the center and we're going to fold it away from us and you should now have a shape that looks like this now we're going to basically fold this tip up here all the way down, not all the way down to this tip but I'd say about a little bit away from it to about this length and you basically just want to have this top edge aligned with the bottom edge and then crease it in then we're going to unfold this and you should now have a crease that runs from some point here all the way to some point over here we're going to open this flap and we just want to pull it down so that it folds along that crease we just made so just allow it to fold down and into itself creating a reverse fold like this and you just want to go ahead and crease that in and you should now end up with a shape like this so now we're going to go back to the part that we just reverse folded down just this part and we basically want to fold it back up like this but you want to pinch this corner here so that it doesn't just fold out like this you want it to fold up and then we're going to pull this edge here and we want to align this edge with this and this edge so you basically want to fold it down like this So again it was down like this, we pulled it up, pinched this corner so that it couldn't unfold completely, then we aligned this edge with the side edge and made sure it was aligned with that side as well. And once you've got it to the shape, give it a nice crease and you should get something that looks like this on this side. Now we're going to basically flip the model over so we had it like this and we're going to grab this and we're going to fold it out like that so when you do that as you can see we have this little protrusion here which doesn't tend to lay flat so what we want to do is we want to pull these two flaps apart and at the same time we want to push this towards the tip here so just carefully pull them apart and allow this to just fold down and you want to get a straight line on this edge just carefully adjusting it bit by bit and then crease it in once it's all the way down and do the same thing on this side crease that in and you should now end up with a shape like this so now we're going to flip this over to the side and now we're going to have these two flaps here and we want to crease going from this diagonal edge where right where it ends all the way up to this tip here where you have this pocket so you want to fold it down like this crease it in and you should basically get a crease that goes from this edge to this edge here and do the same thing on the sides so fold that in crease it in and we're now going to unfold this now if we pull this apart this flap will tend to open go ahead and reverse fold it right along that crease we just made so it should just tuck underneath like that do the same thing here so unfold this open this up and push that in and now we're going to flip it back over to this side and the last few steps we did is basically going to allow us to take this tip here and just pull it all the way down so that we get this tip going a little past this uh, intersecting point here 
and it should basically just fold down to this length where it'll be interlocked by these flaps and just allow it to smoothen out and now we're going to fold it back up and you can decide how much you want to fold it back up I'm just going to fold it somewhere close to this tip and this tip here and based on how much you fold it you'll have a bigger or smaller head right there with the butterfly so fold it to about that length if you like and then we're going to basically take this tip here and we're going to fold it in and tuck it into this pocket right there so fold it inwards into itself and try and get it into that pocket and you should basically get a nice tip up here like that and do the same thing here but there's going to be a lot of paper so be careful and just take your time so that the paper doesn't rip and just allow it to fold in and if you want you can now keep it on a flat surface and maybe keep a book or something like that on it so that uh, these edges here tend to just stay in place and it doesn't stick out but if you're okay with the way it looks it should be fine and you should basically have your a finished butterfly now and you can just put it on display or on a card if you'd like and it should basically look like this so thanks for watching guys if you liked the video don't forget to rate and subscribe and I'll see you next time